Hey, welcome everybody. It is Friday, it is midday. This is Sticky, this is Sydney. For about uh, 250 years, this has been known as Sydney, but for maybe 65,000 years before that, this was Tallawallada. It has been and always will be Tallawallada. This is Gadigal country. We acknowledge the Gadigal people's traditional ownership of this place and pay respects to all Gadigal people, particularly their elders, past, present and emerging. My name's Dave, Annabelle's here, Connor's here, and I've got a very special guest today coming in. This, this is Carl Krizelitsky. You may or may not recognise this gentleman. Did I pronounce that correctly? No. No? No, I'll give you a lesson. Yeah. Bushel as in bushel. 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 Knit as in hair. Yeah. As in, so. Yeah. Bushel knit. Ski as in snow. Ski. So Krushelnitsky. Krushelnitsky. Yeah. So if you want to go all the way, it's Krushelnitsky. Krushelnitsky. Call me Carl. Krushelnitsky. But, oh. but, no, but no, more no. than that, he is known to most Australians as Dr. Carl. He is uh, one of Australia's probably, he's iconic. He is the voice of my childhood, the science communicator. Part of Triple J, part of Triple J for as long as I can remember. He has a podcast still, Science with Dr. Carl. He's here because he wants to learn how to make lollies. We're going to make a lime. So let's go, Carl. Yeah, okay, so firstly, I have no idea, no idea. how to make any candy. So you are, right. the, you, you are the, the man. You are the sensei. Yep. And I am the grasshopper. Please teach me. Sensei. Let's go. There's one colour I want you to add. We're yeah, going to so put. So what have we got here? What's this? This stuff? is sugar, glucose, and water cooked up to about 160 oh, degrees where gee. they bond. The glucose and sugar. sugar. So sugar is sucrose and fructose. Well, sucrose is like a white crystalline sugar that you would put in your coffee. Yep. And then we use a glucose syrup, which is made from wheat. Oh, so you add that to the... We uh, add that to it, and then at high temperature, about 140 degrees, and then on to 160, they bond. Yes, yeah. that's, that's in centigrade. So for Americans, 160 degrees is about 320 square seconds per cubic furlong. Is it that, or something like that? So, so can we, can we have to do this before. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to add our green. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. And we want about one third of our candy for the casing to be green. And I've done this mix of green and yellow to get this lime green. So I'm going to let you do that. You can put that in your left hand. And don't try and add it all at once, but a bit at a time. We're going to put that in there and let it bubble away. And what you're seeing there is the heat reaction. Obviously, at 160 degrees, our water-based food colour evaporates. Oh, is that what the bubbling is? That so is 160 is. degrees C, so the water part of it is bubbled. Bubble. Exactly. So I do the same thing now? You're going to do exactly the same I, thing? I, we I, want I, to try I, and get... I create a groove and then yep. pour in the groove. Uh, yep. Oh my god, it's hard to move it, isn't it? That's why we want to go fast. The candy is cooling incredibly quickly at the moment. Okay, that's a so stir. Oh, it's sticky. Don't try and go too deep. Okay, don't go too deep. So just, just on the surface. You see I'm an amateur and he's a professional. That's nice, though. Look at okay. that. No, 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 I'm here to And one of the techniques that I find Please quite useful me. is this. If you, if you try and do this, it's going to stick. Yeah. This way, this way, this way, this way. Oh, so you always go with the trailing edge. Exactly. Oh. Da -da -da. While you're doing that, I'm going to try and cool this a little bit. We have one more ingredient to add to our candy. It's so much easier with the trailing edge. Now, do I tip the rest of it in? Make yeah, sure I think we want to try it. We want to get a good, solid green in there. Okay, so uh, I've stood in the past. Okay, so go with the trailing edge. The trailing edge. Uh, I know the secret, man. But you've got to get it even all the way through. You, I mean, do you have to get it even? Is it good to have it even? It won't matter. Well, because we will be we will be playing with this in a minute and mixing it all around. So if part of it's darker than the rest, that doesn't matter. Okay, then one more. What you do so want to look for. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. That'll, that's okay. probably enough. Let yeah, nice. me put it down and then keep going. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Connor. What you're looking for more than anything else, you can see where it's kind of oily in the surface. We're trying no. to get that, well, you can see like speckly. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's where the colour is not yet mixed into the candy. We want to try and get it all mixed in. So many tricks. Uh, Lily, just be a little bit wary. Oh, hello. Lily Lily's wants asking. to know that, wants you to know that she's been to two of your shows. Hi Lily. Big fan. You're my BFF for the day. I like you <laughs> twice as much as the second person who comes on. <laughs> and three times as much as the third person. Thank you. Oh my god, it's Dr. Carl. It's Dr. Carl. <laughs> now tell us the story, Carl. Why Dr. Carl? You're not what, what kind of doctor are you? Uh, I'm a medical doctor, not a PhD not doctor. Not a PhD doctor. So once upon a time, uh, Australia used to think that, educa that education was a worthwhile investment in the future. <laughs> they don't make it the same anymore. <laughs> Back in the, and so as a result, past. I've had 28 years of education for free. Is this okay going with the trailing edge? Yeah, 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 yeah. you're doing great. So 
in, so that starts off in baby jail oh, and then goes the through primary months, school, okay. high school, and then 16 years at university for free with um, degrees in physics and mathematics. Biomedical engineering, when I designed and built a machine for Fred Hollows to pick up electrical signals off the human retina to diagnose certain types of eye disease, and then degrees in medicine and surgery, but to round me off, I've got four years of non-degree study at university level in uh, computer science, astrophysics, electrical engineering, and philosophy. And, and, and I'm, you getting are, oily. I'm getting it oily. It's No, no, no you're I'm just watching you do it. It's like, like it's like watching an artist at work. It's great. Right. Right. Yeah, but you, you, you're, you're teaching me. I'm, you're, you're the sensor. I'm the grasshopper. You're actually you're actually done now. That looks okay. absolutely perfect. So, okay, so the last bit we go around, sometimes just around the edge. Oh, yeah. Because it's around the edge if it's not mixed in. I didn't get it square. I didn't get it square. It doesn't matter. Okay. We're going to wipe the excess off on the bar. Wipe the excess off on the bar. We're going to take, we're going to hand that to Connor, in fact. He's going to take that away. Take both of yours as well. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. You've got a whole bunch of tools here. Wow. All right. So, we're going to move, you can see the steel bar at the end. We're going to take the steel bar. This one here. What sort of steel is it? Stainless. Stainless. So it's medical grade stainless. It is. It's three, uh, three, one, uh, six three, or three, four. Three fifteen. Something like that. Yeah. We stainless. spare no expense. Stainless comes in hundreds of different grades. Some of them magnetic. Some of them not magnetic. But all of them have this characteristic that they can be made very clean for medical grade and very food clean. grade. Okay. So you're going to take that steel bar and you'll see two lugs at the end of the table. We're going to take our steel bar away. Move the steel bar away. A little bit stuck. Yeah. There you go. Without burning myself? Uh, well, you, I don't think you can burn yourself now. Jeez, I'm heavy. going to see you try it. Oh, no, no, it's steel. This is heavy. Yeah, try this one. So this, this is solid stainless. Yep. I love it. I, I love stainless steel. Where do I put it? There's it's something incredibly beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Up against the lungs. Okay, yep. There is something incredibly beautiful about yeah. stainless steel. Yep. You're going to take your scissors in your right hand. Yep. Now you can see oh, it's, it's basically started to set, but it's still a bit soft on the top. Right. So you're going to, we're going to do this, and you're going to take your scissors, and you're just going to cut them all the way to the top of the candy up here. Luckily, I'm right handed. Keep your elbow up, so you can keep the elbow up. Yeah. Now hold it like this. And as you cut, pull away with your left hand. So as you cut, snip it all the way up to the top. You go faster. Oh, as fast as I. Uh, it's not a race. It's still stretching. Pushing away with your left hand. Pushing away. What does that mean? So pushing this up and away. I'm oh, pushing it up. It's stretching. Yeah, that's okay. okay. Is that's, that okay? It's candy. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. it is. Okay. All right. Does it feel like any? People always ask, "What does it feel like?" The candy. Does it feel like anything you've ever uh, played with before? It's resisting me, but it's, it's giving way. No, I'll pull it over here. No, I'll pull it over here. With one hand over. Yep, so you can grab it here where it's kind of. Grab it under here. Yeah. Pull yeah. it all the way over the other side of the table. Oh, so I'll put the hand underneath it. Yep. Yeah. And then, then loosen. Oh, oh, it's oh, okay. done. Okay. Okay. okay, so I was being a bit too gentle. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so check that there. Right, okay. And then you can't pick it up by these bits on the corner. That's fine. Nice. So where you want to take, you can actually, you can see the difference. If, you, if we lift this up, yeah. part of it is that? still liquid. Ah, that's really hot, but this is not. This has been on the stainless, so it's actually cool. So you can now play with it. What do we do? This, is, this, this is kind of the out. fun bit of the candy. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch everything it. else touch. Thank you you've got, <laughs> you've got one of these if you need it. You've got one of these, okay. So you can just do this. But the idea now is just to play with your food. So play with food. Just yeah. muck about with it, turn it, play uh, with it. Is that the Prime Minister? <laughs> Where? <laughs> this is not the Prime Minister. If you've come in a little bit late, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Sticky. We're in Sydney. My name's David, and this is Dr. Carl. Carl, who's... Grushelnitsky, although the proper Australian pronunciation is wheelbarrow. Grushelnitsky. Grushelnitsky. Fantastic to say in that, in that Eastern European accent, isn't it? Yeah, I know. Grushelnitsky. Sounds slightly more menacing in it. We also have some sticky questions. These are questions Dad wants answered by Dr. Carl. Okay, first question. Uh, how can dogs Hello? eat raw chicken but not chocolate? Hello. Hi, welcome. So how are you, ladies? Me. Hello. So we're making... <laughs> we're the TikTok people. We're live on TikTok. Right oh. So, what do I, what do I, do I this around? You do you, anything you, you like. Flip it over if you like. like. No, what, 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 what's my job? Nothing right it's now. Just, just cooling cool it. Down. So, oh. cool already. Oh, so, do I want to cool it? I want to give it maximum surface area and also to radiate heat. Exactly. And so, but what you'll see is it's actually cooling inconsistently. Is that good or bad? It's fine, but you want to mix it up, turn it oh, over, it up. mix it into yeah. itself. Yeah. Okay, so the question was, um, why can hey, dogs the eat raw chicken, but not chocolate? Uh, why? And not suffer, uh, but why can they not you guys need have to chocolate? Do you know what yeah, yeah. They, they, they seem to have robust digestive systems, but they can't eat chocolate. Robust is an inaccurate word. An inaccurate word? Okay. What they have. Is that? I'll make 
carnivore. Uh -huh. They have a carnivore gut, very short. So they process it very quickly and they get it over the other end. So in general, while they can get food poisoning, they tend not to because the food comes in and out very quickly. So there's not a long time. Am I doing the right thing to sort of mock some of Is it? So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to show you something else. Yeah, but I'm going to bring dog. Yeah. Only because this is fun. It is, oh. It's actually quite beautiful stuff, Candy. And you can do. Oh my god, you're getting a bubble. Being and you can out. actually grab the bubble. Oh my god, look at that. Do it stay there? Yeah. Okay. Until. Until. Oh. You get rid of it. <laughs> It's a metaphor for life in some way. It is such a metaphor for so, life. So, so Nothing lasts forever. Oh, you came to the comedy store. This one's one at the comedy store. Oh, well, thank you so much. Yeah. You're, you're a teacher. Oh, look, do you know I'm happy to do a free science Q&A with you at school for nothing? So, yeah, so, so go to drcarl.com and make Dr. a booking. Drcarl.com. And make a booking. And then, um, if you have any trouble, just bring me to the University of Sydney on the phone. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. So, okay, so we'll see how we're going with this one. We're probably pretty set. That's actually quite nice to work with. Okay, so we're not looking for it to be solid. We're going to have to work with this in a sculptural sense. So okay, it's actually cooled really nicely. This is where we want to work with it. We're going to move off our cooling table onto this table, which is hot. This, this is thermostatically controlled. So this table was takes it from 160 yep. down to about 85. Yeah, 85. This table will keep it at 85 while we construct it. Oh, so it's got heaters underneath. That's correct. So we're going to sit over here now. Oh, good thing we've got the microphones now. We take these with it. Take my sister. Thank you. Oh, we're shifting the camera. Oh, we're shifting the camera. Oh, my God. Here we go. All right. So, oh, feel that. Here. So that's you can feel it? Uh, the table is actually set to about 130 degrees, but once you go through the surfaces, probably about 85 on the top, something like that. Okay. Now, let, let me just finish off the dog thing. So, firstly, the reason that a dog can eat uh, raw chicken, raw chicken yeah. is it's yeah. got a very short gut okay. and it's very powerful and corrosive, so the bacteria get killed or they have enough time to multiply and grow into larger numbers. The reason. Yeah, yeah, sure. Really it's selfie time. Here we go. Move fast. The reason it doesn't eat chocolate. Uh, we're uh, having some microphone uh, one, two, and oh, oh, Yes, apparently. Can you listen to that? Thank you. And the, you know, the trouble with chocolate is that the, they turn a chemical in chocolate uh, called theobromine, which literally means theo, as in theology, God, yep. bromine drink. Theobromine means drink of the God. Yes, one second. Sorry, guys. Here's a lot of here. Can you, can you listen to it and speak to it? Yeah, Is it all right? It's a little, little bit we're distorted. We're having some sound issues. No, no, we'll work it out. It's, it's, the audio is slightly distorted. It's just a down. Say something, Carl. Talking, talking, talking. One, two, three. We're not talking too loudly. No, no, no. It's not you. Yeah, but he's not talking too loudly. I'm going to make it distorted. Let's see if we can get it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's good now, Steve. I think we can get the sad news. Okay, so getting back to the... Theobromine. So Theobromine. So what am I doing? Tell me what I'm doing. Uh, I'm, well, I'm making you sort of like you. story, and then I'm going to show you. The next part is satinizing our can. Okay, so let me just finish. So what happens? I'm mimicking you, right? Yep. So what happens is that the theobromine, which um, has a formula of 3,7-dimethyl xanthine, uh, it gets converted by the gut of the dog into poisonous chemicals. Not in humans, but yes, in dogs. In dogs. So because, don't give your dog chocolate. Yeah, and the worst one is dark chocolate because that's got most theobromine and the least bad one is milk chocolate and, and uh, or white chocolate and then it sort of works up there. The darker the chocolate, the more, poison, more dangerous the more dangerous it is to a dog. Okay, All right. I'll stop talking and I'll obey. You're going to come with me, Carl, because the next part of the process, this yes. is called satinization. How do you spell that? S-A-T-I-N-I, -I, and I guess it depends whether you're American or use English, English, uh, an S or a Z, A-T-I-O-N. So satin, S A T I N. Yeah, and I'll show you why. We're going to satinize this can. You come with me. You've done such a much better job than I have. Well, you don't have to worry about that one because we're going to vote for it on this one. Okay, I'll leave that there. Yeah, leave that there. This one, this is the simple, 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 simple word is stretching the candy. Just have a little bit of space. Yeah, we're stretching the candy or satinizing the candy. 
And he says that there's two reasons we do this. The first one is so that the candy changes colour. Well, it's getting pulled into long, long strings, and it's an exponential process. So every time I throw this over the hook, it multiplies the number of strands by three times three times three times three. And given the power of exponential mathematics, if I do this 25 times, 25 to two to the power of three to the power of 25, that's a really big number. That's a really big number. You end up with billions of little strands of candy, and you can see it going shiny now. It's getting shiny. It's satinizing. It's Sat getting a kind of satin. So satin. It's H-D-I-N, not Saturn. Not Saturn, but satin. satin. You're kidding. So you're going to have a little go. The oh, secret. Oh, really? Yeah. The secret is to grab it right at the end, not like this, but here, and just give it a pull. Okay. And your left hand comes back hand. Okay. And you just throw well, it over the right. You tell me what I'm doing. I'll see you go on this side. So I pull, and then what do I do? Left hand goes back hand. Left hand goes back hand. Right. Left yep, hand right goes back hand. Yeah. And then, and then what do I do? Throw it back over the hook. There you go. Okay. This hand should go two strikes back. Over there. All right. Yeah. I goes on the front. Yep. And then throw it over. There you go. I haven't got it yet. Let me know where I'm going. So left hand goes here, grab it at the bottom, and then throw over. Oh, that's the way. Not as everything as you. No, 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 no,
Dr. Carl is. Dr. Carl is the voice of Science Communication in Australia. He is, uh, has a podcast called Science with Dr. Carl, and he's kind of an iconic voice on Australia's youth network, Triple J, who has been teaching kids about the fascinating and kind of exciting world of science for longer than I can remember. So what, what do you do? He's, uh, yeah, we, like we, we actually ran into his like TikTok. He's got a TikTok. But we ran into his TikTok guy at, at a concert. Oh, and he said, Dr. Yeah. Carl, come okay. on and make candy. Oh, I was super excited. He's a little bit of a hero of mine. So then each one... Uh, yeah, so each one we're going to make into a triangle. Beautiful. Yeah. So, so like a like total around chocolate exactly. triangle. And then once they're happy with the shape, nice and the thing, the thing is, you don't have to do a whole lot of work. What works is kind of letting the flatness of the table. You just oh. do this, and turn it, and turn it, and turn it, and it's kind of like the table does a lot of the work for you, but gently you touch it. If you've done this, I have done this before. Radio. Not my first radio, baby. As I say in America, this is probably to me and then try and pass make. that one to you. Yeah. Yep. This is probably the lolly table. as a candy maker this that you make more than any other. Because okay. that one looks good. So this this reminds me of that old Latin saying, "Idem as est facere, non est idem," which basically means two people do the same thing, but it is not the same thing. It is not you, the same you thing. You and I okay. are doing the same thing, but yours is just so much better than mine. But it's just practice. People always like say, how do you get so fast at chopping handy? Just practice. And, like that. Oh, oh, and there's okay. a lesson in that for everybody in the world. If you want to be good at something, just practice, man. Practice, practice, practice. Beautiful. Here's another... There's one more. Uh, here's another question. Why don't we see bugs splat on our windscreens anymore? Why don't we see bugs splat on our windscreens? And the reason is that we have killed with modern farming practices and various pesticides, we have killed so many of the insects, not realising that they are essential for human life. If all of the humans died, the insects would be fine. If all the insects died, yep. the, the, the humans would be fine. You were in these trouble yeah. with the bees so and stuff. Can I ask you your position on mosquitoes? Um, they're part of God's great plan, depending on how you define God. Uh, but do, do, are they... I, and I've actually heard this as a genuine debate. Yeah. Whether we'd be better off really without mosquitoes. Or no, no, no. They are essential. They are an essential part of the food ecosystem. Chain. Yep. And it just so happens that well, you can get the, the real answer here by following the moral lesson, which mm -hmm. comes from where I get all my moral lessons from, the Godfather. Oh, mm -hmm. I, was, I thought you were going to say the show monkey. No, the Godfather. Okay. So with regard to uh, um, mosquitoes, it's. Nothing personal, it's strictly business. They just want to make babies, and we happen to something get in their way, and bad things happen to us. That's just the way it is. So now we have six triangles. So now you're just going to flip them uh, every now and again? And just well, I'm actually going to get Carl to do this. You just look after those kind of, yep. while Carl does this. Okay. So you're going to take this. Okay. I've got this one. You're going to do the same thing I do. You're going to cut these into half. So, I'm, so these have been satinized, this and is, you've done physical chemistry to them. This is this is exactly the same candy as this, mm. except, and, and we didn't really talk about it when we were doing it on the table, but this has a citric acid content. We put the citric acid in this because it gets satinized, yep. and you don't the citric acid doesn't actually dissolve, but because it's in the satinized candy, you don't see it. Whereas oh. if it was in here, we all speckly. Mate, mate, you've got to get Professor Alice Motion. Okay, Alice Motion. A Alice, one word, motion, the next name. Professor of Chemistry. Carl's and scissors? Yep, what am I doing? So you want to go half on that one? Uh, I, I think I would do a half. Is that, is that kind of a half? Beautiful. Okay, it's close. Okay. Yeah. And it is. It's, just, it's an interesting mix of science and... So the weird thing is that these are chemically exactly the same, but this has just had a physical process put on it, you know, pulling it and stretching it, and it looks completely different. Completely different. Yeah. So the, the, the same atoms, they're just different things have been done to the atoms. So yeah. each one of these yep. that you've just that. made, you want yep. to make into one of these. Okay, so I want to make it into, into a flat thing. Into a nice so little push flat. Push down with your hands. Push down with the hands and yeah. get up in front of it. And, and I want again, to sliding, 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 oh, sliding. sliding. Get that tactile thing going. Yeah, nice, beautiful. And then once you've got them, we're just going to put them to one side. Mm. 
Right, that's good. Mate, I've got a bolt in the middle, how do I get rid of it? It's actually quite easy. Yep. I, my, my thing would be like pushing and if you use your fingers to keep it to the, like this, oh. the sliding will just So the it. ball of the hand spreads it and the fingers contain it. All right. Correct. There's a lot of cosmic dancing and going on And so you've on got here. one more to do? I just made so essentially we have now made all the elements That's that are nice. necessary for our line. Oh, I can see the advantage of the fingers. Yes, I hadn't thought of the fingers. Never forget the fingers. Never forget the fingers. Never forget the fingers, baby. Now, this is relatively dangerous because there is a temperature of 85 degrees C coming through that table. You can feel it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, 55 is enough to cause. Um, skin burn so you gotta be moving all the time and not getting too hot. And that's it. We're done. Oh uh, look at that. It's so as good as yours. It's beautiful Carl. Stop talking yourself down dude. That's awesome. But look at you made look so wide and flat. Well this one needs what we have is four little ones yep. and one big one. You didn't tell me about the big one. That's I was just doing that while you weren't watching. So I wasn't watching. We're going to grab our sponge. Sponge, which is just, they're not wet, but they have a little bit of moisture All of them, on them. No, just one. one. Two, just doesn't, one. doesn't really matter. Okay. And we're going to put a little bit of moisture over the top of that. Can I do that? Yeah. Hey, so I just go up yep. one way and then back again. Yeah. Is that enough moisture? Yeah, perfect. So and what the water does, again? it kind of dissolves yep. the very top surface of the sugar. It's so going to act as glue. It dissolves the sugar, yep. Yep. Oh. So we, take, we start taking our triangular oblongs. Triangular oblongs. And look, they're almost the right length. And you're going to grab another one, and we're going to put it with a gap between on now, this on this edge. Yeah, that's it. The, the, yep. the right. That's perfect. Oh, I can feel a slippy sliding. Yep. I, I put a dent in it, David. Oh, okay. I stuffed up. I put a dent <laughs> in it. <laughs> you, should, you should see Connor make logs. Okay. <laughs> so uh, once again, we're going to put some water in there. Water in there, yes. I'm going to take one of these, like so, and you're oh. going to grab one, and we're going to lay it on there. Yeah. I don't know the, distance, the difference between too hard and too soft with this yet, but one day I'll learn. Yeah. And then you grab so this one. is going to go really? inverted. Inverted or upside down, upside as we say down. in plain language. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. This is We're, we're heading for pyramids. Yep. So have, what we've done, this is now one side of our, essentially we have that. Yeah. We now, we want to build this side. I'm gonna, oh. I'm gonna, so here we go, one, exactly two, the same. So, so it's, it's like cutting one, two, three, cutting around round Hexagon thing, in half. Into six individual okay. slices. So there's three. So if I do this, we're going to once again put a bit of moisture here, and I'm going to support this while you build the whole of this side. I'm going to build the whole of the side. So first thing, this. So this yep. guy goes along through here. Yep. And then Perfect. have it roughly square that yep. to the edge. Follow along with this that guy here, go there. probably a similar distance from the edge, roughly square. Yep. Uh, I hope it don't go too far on the side. So now we're going to take, we these take ones. one of these guys here. Yep. And not be too gentle and not be too hard. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting the vibe, man. Getting the vibe. Okay, got it. <laughs> just want to make sure yeah. that white goes all the way down. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what about the fact getting that the red is a bit high? <laughs> that'll be fine. Okay, that'll be fine. We do the same over here on same this side. On that one. Oh my gosh. And okay. then, last step. Inverted triangle. And this one, we actually, because this is kind of gone a little bit flat on us, this last one we put in a little bit differently. We just put it there and then close up the gap. Oh my gosh. So you let the human touch and obey the exact mathematics. No, well that, this way, well what's happened is gravity has been pulling it flatter as we were building that side. Yeah. By closing up that gap like that, yeah. it turns it into what should be quite a beautiful circle split into six segments. Ah. Like the inside of a line. Yeah? Wow. So a three-dimensional line. So what you did then was the Greek equivalent of when they built the Greek columns on the buildings, the word entasis meaning tension. Entasis. So you followed yep. a mathematical formula and then you applied the human element just to make it a little bit different. Just to make it a just, little bit different. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Everything wow. we do is a little bit different. It's not a... It's can you drop the weight of this? Yeah. No, you can, all you want to do is kind of roll this okay. for a minute. So we've got to keep rolling. Keep rolling. Keep We've keep got rolling. two more things to add to our candy. One yep. is a white layer to go around this, and a, a green white. layer to go all the way around. A white layer. Yep. Okay. Got okay. It. So um, I'm going to make the white one, yes, and then I'm going to let you have a go at the green one. Okay. Another question yeah. coming up. Yeah. Nope. Uh, why does water expand, unlike everything else, when it gets cold? Um, uh, it's due to we think something called hydrogen bonds. 
which I don't fully understand. Do you do chemistry? I did some hydrogen yeah. bonds, yeah. yeah. So um, basically, I can understand why bonds where positive and negative hang on to each other. I can understand kind of covalent bonds where you share electrons. Hydrogen bonds, I almost understood them, but now there are 25 different types of hydrogen bonds, which apparently are um, involved with why water expands when it contracts, and I don't have the full answer. I found you. I don't know. <laughs> there you are. You need a physical chemist? Need Alice a physical motion. chemist. Alice Motion. Yes, I'm, yes. I'm looking forward to meeting yes. this lady. Good. Okay. So you, I'm, I'm rolling, trying to keep so it So I've made, this is what, we, we call it a wrap. But essentially we want it to be the same diameter, or the same width as the thing you're rolling. Yep. And I want this to wrap exactly around that with my overlap. You want that guy to wrap around this cylinder, yep. but with no overlap. So all you actually need to do is multiply the diameter of this by 3.1415926. And, and that will give you that dimension. Does that make sense? Yes. Pi. It's all about pi, baby. Okay. And who doesn't love pi? So... I've, I've done that calculation in my head, obviously. Yeah, I, I was being naughty there and not rolling it enough. That's all right. I'll put I'll a bit of flat on one side. Let it go flat. It'll go round again. I'm not that good as an apprentice. So the question is, did I do well my did I do my pi First multiplication one. correctly? Oh my god! Come on, come on, come on, baby! Oh look, the, the edges are just kissing. Just, just kissing. Turn around so the camera just can see that. Kissing. Now, now, now look at that. No overlap. No gap, they're just kissing perfectly. I watched him cheat. <laughs> oh, you saw, oh, Annabelle. Uh, if anyone knows there, anything about cheating, it's Annabelle. Is she, saying, she oh, it. hang on, boo the patriarchy, just be careful here. <laughs> oh, no, okay. she knows. Uh, so, you're going to have a crack. This is a rolling pin. This is quite good for making things flat, but it's not going to get you the nice rectangular shape. What's this made of? Some sort of polypropylene? I don't want to say melamine. But, oh, no, no, melamine's not it. No, it's, 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 it's like a plastic. So, oh, so this is the thing I use, and I want to make it go wider. So this, this unlike most things, this, this is this is just your weight. So yeah, what okay. you want to do is go slowly. Oh, you want to go slowly. And not using your muscles, but rolling a little bit, but just using your weight to push down into the can. But also wanting to go wider as well. Well, all you're going to do with this is make it flat, and then you're going to get the nice shape once you've flattened it. Yeah, here you go. So don't worry about the shape of the rolling pin. All you're going to do is make the candy flat. Has, if you've got a question for Dr. Carl, please hit us up. Well, Annabelle will give you a question. If there's anything that's ever uh, confused you or perplexed you, or, uh, how did you actually get Dr. Carl coming on your live stream? <laughs> 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 no, it's one of those nice things about going online is you tend to kind of connect with people. Um, and it's I had a question for Dr. Carl that he doesn't want to answer. I wanted to know why uh, Ewan McGregor is so much sexier than Chris Hemsworth. And well, he care. said there wasn't really a scientific explanation for yeah, that. It's just a personal preference based science. on my genetics. And then you go on from I still think it's an important scientific yeah, investigation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that sounds about right. Uh, okay. So, that sounds yeah, they're cut. So we're going to put the put the rolling pin away. The first thing we're going to do, because this is now sat on the table and kind of stuck up, we give it a flip. And you just slowly want to now try and shape this uh, a little bit at a time it. into that rectangle. So I'm going to try While you're doing this, you're multiplying the diameter of this again by five. You know the uh, Greeks were able two thousand two and a half thousand years ago to measure the diameter of the Earth actually to within about ten percent. Uh, are you telling me the Earth's not flat? I'm afraid so. Oh man! Yeah, I know. You've got it all wrong. Yeah, okay, I've been brought out by the big globe. Is that, is that the conspiracy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you've obviously... Oh, here's a good question. Yep. Um, do, you, uh, do phones give off radiation and can it be bad for you? Do phones give off radiation? Absolutely. Yes. Now, ra there's two sorts of radiation. One radiation is ionising, and that means that it knocks electrons off atoms. Not so, when you think about atom, it's a central, it's like a mini solar system, kind of, and it's got a central core, which is the nucleus, and then going around, which is like the sun. So just stop going. Sorry. No, I'm going to get you to come here so you can answer this question properly. So, then, have a look at this. What, what's the professional? What's the professional? And then the You're second thing is, uh, so, uh, getting back to the atoms. If the radiation has enough energy to knock the electrons off, that's called ionising radiation. And ionising radiation is bad, and that's ultraviolet, 3% of sunlight, and X-rays and gamma rays, and they cause cancer. The boundary between ionising and non-ionising radiation is violet versus ultraviolet. 
from violet all the way through microwaves and radio waves and all that, that is non-ionising radiation, infrared, and it does not cause cancer. Whereas everything the other direction, from ultraviolet uh, into x-rays and gamma rays, that causes cancer. Phones do not put out ionising radiation. It has never been proved that any form of ionising radiation causes cancer, unless, of course, you just get ridiculous with it. So if you get some milk on the stove and you apply infrared energy to it and you heat it up for 10 minutes so it goes really stinky, you have created, by chemistry, some cancer-causing chemicals. But the radiation of itself, at the levels we have in the phones, does not heat yourself up enough to do it. But 10 minutes of heating milk after it started boiling, you're definitely creating cancer-causing chemicals, and that's just yeah. infrared radiation. But naked radiation by itself, if it's non-ionizing, does not cause cancer. What an excellent question. Thank you. How, do they, get the, how do they get the microchips in the 5Gs? Um, the 5G network is interesting. The main pusher of the claim that 5G networks would cause cancer was Russia. And yet Russia was the main country adopting 5G. Right. So simultaneously they were adopting 5G as fast as they could because the they saw the advantages of it. But at the same time they were saying, we don't want the West to use it because they would just slow them down by a year or two. Sounds like a military strategy. Well, it's yeah. kind of like KGB, F, F, FSB, you know how it's going. So what we've got right. here is six-sided... We have, we have now. Lime. Yeah, what, what we've got is about 12 and a half kilos of lime candy. It's in a three-dimensional form at the moment. It will always be in a three-dimensional form, obviously, but no. it's a little bit big for most people to eat. It's about yeah. a trillion, trillion calories, and it's too big to get in your mouth. So we're going to turn this into about 5,000 really small little lollies. You're going to join Connor over here, Carl, because I'm going to... Technically, in the candy making trade, this is called spinning the candy. I'm going to show you what to do first. So you're, you're going to... Spin. We, we now move... This is out what we call the rolling table. Now. We're heading to the rolling table. Yes. Awesome. So we have the cooling... Standing steel as well. The cooling table, the heating table, and now the rolling table. Essentially, it's another cooling table. Yeah. But the idea is we're going to pull this into long, skinny rods, cut them up into little sweets. Hopefully, something like five and a half thousand little sweets will get out of it. Most of the time in this process, gravity is our enemy, but occasionally gravity can be your friend. Is that a bit stiff? Just a little bit. That'll be alright. Not stiff, stiff. So look at that art. What you're going to be doing? So, kind of might show you the first little bit, and then you're going to have a look. Yes, you're going to come up to here. And this is our paint. If you've just joined us, thank you for coming yeah. along today. This is oh Dr. Carl. If you've not really? met Dr. So Carl, you're probably not Australian because he's an icon of Australian about science this, communication, part of Triple J's oh, youth network here in Australia. So he has a podcast long called long Science with Dr. Carl, in which you can submit questions and he will try and answer them for you. I've got a question. Very special. You got a question? When he's ready, though, he's still getting a lesson from us. So then, I'll get this one. I'll roll on the table to the ground. Wait for the table. What I'm going to do, I'm going to be pulling lengths. And I pull them. You're going to cut them into lengths of about that. That's just about a fist. No, no. About like a fist. That long. Oh, here. Yeah. I was too scared. There we go. And what you really want to do, nice and slow, is. Oh, this is your left hand. Yep. Oh. Hey, Dad, sorry. I'll pass you this one as well. That's kind of a special day for me. I've missed this. This is my whole life. You don't have to be really quick with it. You can be nice and slow. Nice and slow. Yep. And then this hangs out in the right hand. Oh. And then you pull, pull it into your grasp and roll. Can I say, Carl, one of the things I've most admired about your science communication stop, over stop, the years... Stop, stop, stop. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that you, you're, you're happy to say when you don't know something? Oh, there's so many things I don't know. No, but I think that's really important. Well, that's where great discoveries get made. You're increasing my workload. They just keep coming. They just keep coming. Oh, they're not going to stop. They're going to keep coming. But they're not all the same length. That's okay. Okay. So if you get your hands further and further apart, it's much easier to roll. Okay. You don't have to apply heaps of pressure because you apply too much self flatten. There we go. Okay, so we'll bring this one. Yep. And then you lift it. Uh, we're not yep. getting any sound through his mind. Through Carl's mind? Yeah. <laughs> we'll just have to listen to my beautiful sound. Dulcet tones. Sorry. It's okay. 
How are you guys today? You alright? That's okay. So bring them all together. Yeah. Are you familiar with Dr. Carl? Have you got a question for him? Anything you've ever wanted to know? So we get nice and light. Yeah. If you want to, we'll try that now. Okay. Nice, really nice and light on them. Uh, Carl, yo, your microphone is not getting any sound, so we're just going to go. We're just going to go. To the phone. We're going to take both microphones out. I don't know. It says it is. The little thing says it's working, but people are saying on the thing they can't hear. Ah, mic working. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can you hear me on the microphone? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Doing a mic test. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sing us something, Carl. All right. How are you ladies today? Are you well? Yeah, good, man. Good. We're making lime lollies. You'll be able to try one very soon. Are you, where are you from? In Roseville. Okay. Beautiful Roseville. Nice and white. Yeah, it's not white. Okay, just pull it out, Joe. We're, we're, we're going to go different on the sound. It's going to be experiment, so I don't know if you can hear me now. We'll go down the other end and we can hear Dr. Carl in a few minutes. You don't have to be too rapid. Let's just watch me do Nice and slow. And then you be a little bit rough for my side. Oh, we've got more coming. Oh, hold on these. More talk. coming. There's always more, Connor. It's going to keep coming. Keep rolling. Keep going. Yeah. How are you? How are you? How are you? What is the magnetic field physically made from? Um, energy. Yes. Yeah. And travels through space. And um, one, we, one of the four... Fundamental forces of the universe, electromagnetism. Yep, there are four major ones. Electromagnetism, the weak nuclear force, the strong nuclear force, and, and gravity. Gravity. And gravity's not really a force, rather than curvature of space. I failed that one. Can you clear that one? It's still going. Can I ask you, Carl, uh, I've been addicted to a Netflix show that's on at the moment called Our Universe. Have you seen it? No, I I know nothing. It's uh, narrated by Morgan Freeman. Tells the story over four episode, five episodes of our universe. Ah, but in only five like, episodes. Yeah. But so what's happening to you? Stories. Is your our main enemy is called humidity. And that's why they're sitting together. They're not rolling them fast enough. That's okay. I'm here. Start cutting off on your TV so we don't get too many of them. Thank you, Connor. You're very welcome. Hands wider. There we go. Okay, now That's right. you've got to go. Um, if our stomach right. has hydrochloric acid in them, why can't they drink yeah. hydrochloric yeah. acid? Why can't, why can't what? You drink hydrochloric acid. Uh, because the acid will cause chemical reactions on your uh, intestines. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The acid will cause chemical reactions on your uh, esophagus, uh, on your mouth, to make the esophagus, the inside of your esophagus, um, scar. And that is a really bad thing because the esophagus needs to be incredibly smooth and slinky to be able to pass food down. And having anything bad happen to your esophagus is just horrendously. So easy. if you could bypass your esophagus, that's good. They're good. They're good. They're good. straight into your stomach, you'd be all right. Sorry, say again. So if you could bypass your esophagus and get it straight into your stomach, yeah, it'd be on a par with the acidity of the stuff that's already in your stomach anyway. But the esophagus is a bad part, and that's the main problem with the button batteries. That on the way down, they might get stuck in the esophagus, um, and then burn through the wall of the esophagus, and then go into other areas inside, such as um, the uh, lung cavity and the heart cavity. It sounds very unfair. It is very bad. You don't want to have that happen. I was going to take down the end, so you can actually hear what Dr. Gus is saying, because we lost our microphones. We lost all our microphones. Uh, well, we didn't lose mine, but we lost yours. So that means people can hear you at all. And people hear me all the time. There we go. Is everybody here familiar with Dr. Carl? Have you seen Dr. Carl before? Oh, he's a big fan. Yeah, what's your, not nice. Have you got a question for Dr. Carl? 
She's having a little fangirly moment. I love it. Oh, look at the girl, look at the girl. So, in the late 18th and early 19th century. And he realised that if you had, in most societies, there was a division of uh, money and power following an 80 20 rule. That 80% of the population had 10% of the money, and 20% of the population had 80% of the money. And he found that he was surprised, in most cases, this didn't matter. So long as you had an adequate uh, health is what it is, education, though and justice system. And provided that was the case, it didn't matter that you had three bicycles and I had one, because we both had access to housing, accommodation, um, etc. And looking at a revolution in that country, to try and address it, again, you find a different way to try and address it, the world, right? It just kept on going. It's chaos! <laughs> no, you're doing great, man. No, There's so you. many people in the shop. Look at them all! Oh my <laughs> right, we're saving them. We got this. You got it, Connor. You got it all, mate. Come here, mate. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Do you believe the Big Bang is real? Um, <laughs> the motto of a scientist is that you hold your theories on the tips of your fingers so the nearest breath of fact will blow them away. At the moment we have three very powerful bits of evidence for the Big Bang theory, which are the universe is expanding, the atoms are made of uh, are mostly hydrogen, a little bit of helium, and we've got the cosmic microwave background. So, it's not so much believe, but all the evidence says that all the evidence points that direction. But, but if some more evidence comes along, well, who asked that question? Someone, someone on the on the TikTok asked the question. Oh, yeah. So, but if some more evidence comes along, then we will change our theory to see. One of the questions I had was, uh, how make it roll? And it seems to be people have lost a bit of faith in the scientific method. Why, why should people take the scientific method as valuable? Why, why listen to experts at all? Why listen to scientists at all? Why listen to any expert? Well, this is people now. All, people just want to do. Their, people want to do their own research these days. People, people will hear what the CDC or you, you, you've said too many different things in one second. Let's just stick to one thing at a time. So, firstly, why listen to experts? Well, you we see it right here. Your making of candy is so much superior to mine because you are an expert and you have worked in it for how many years? How many years have you worked in it? 20 now. Yeah, okay, so you've got knowledge, right? Yep. And so, whereas, suppose I come along and I have zero experience in making uh, candy, there's no way I can do anything as good as you can within months, you know? I don't know, you're, bit, you're pretty no. good. No, 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 no. No, no, of course. Of course. Yeah, right, okay. So, so the whole point is that experts specialise in one thing and get to be good at it. Now, the thing about science, which is very special, is that science is not a bunch of facts. Science is a way of understanding the universe around us. It's a method that sets out to prove a theory incorrect. Yeah, you, 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 but basically you try and understand the universe. That's what you're trying to do, and you may or may not get it right. What are we going to get you to do? We've done, we've done that. Okay. It's the very last bit. It's everybody's favourite bit. If you've just joined us, we've got Dr. Carl. So now we're going to go to the company. Now we're going to be able to have their books. Other people are going to have their books. You can decide which one you're going to do. We're going to cut up some of All you do is you grab a really long rod like this. And then you're going to go Connor's like getting that. A little bit of a hand. However your hand feels right. I'm going to show you what we do. And then we go one, two, three. Nice and close to the block. We're going to get it straight. Putting a little bit of pressure on this. Like that. Which angle? Uh, try and get 
you have that right, you're going to have it flat. So I'm trying to kind of match the angle of that here. Match what angle? The angle of the way I'm holding this. If I'm going to hold it straight, I'm going to be straight. Oh, so you're going to try to cover it with that. Yeah. Like, he's now a candy man. And can you see what you make, Carl? Oh my god, it looks like a real one. It looks just like a bought one. Oh. Who here? Crushing it, that's their perfect. Yeah, but it's a hook. Now it is a hand. Who here product. would like to try a lolly? They are perfect, you're doing it wrong. I didn't hear you. Who here would like to try a lolly? Yeah! Yeah! Whose birthday? Oh, would, you, would you like a big one, Izzy? Yeah. Happy yeah. birthday, mates. How old are you? 16. Sweet 16 and never been kissed. Oh. Uh, Bert, would oh. you like to grab a glove? Yeah. That's okay. Grab a glove more handsome lollies out for lovely people? Yes, yeah. sir. He's going to be very focused for a minute or two. Because this takes a little bit of practice to cutting. Would Elon Musk actually give a carrot on Mars and make it look Um, You've got two different... Who, who's asking that? Someone you, on the internet. Okay, so terraforming Mars. I think you can do four at once. You can, as soon as you can do one, you can do four. Four's oh, not God. harder than... You, you, that is, okay, so... What I can do is probably, yeah, I can go bigger than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, which camera are we going for? Which one? Yep. So, um, terraforming Mars. So terraform means to make it look like Earth. So, is it possible? Yes. But very difficult. So, yeah, different ways. One is to, well, the main problem is that Mars has no magnetic field because the core has cooled out. And therefore, when the solar wind comes out of the sun, the rate of that one will have to be It blows and has blown the atmosphere of Mars away. At the moment, the atmosphere of Mars is roughly 0.6 of a percent of the atmosphere of Earth. It has been blown away. So, the purpose is to put that more atmosphere. And the uh, only thing you have to do with is the temperature range of Mars, which is plus 20 to minus 100. But the nice thing is you bring Mars closer in to the sun, to the so called Golden Rock Road, and then drop a whole lot of asteroids, such as later ice, which will then melt and then form an atmosphere. And we're looking at a project of over millions of years. Another way to do it would be with biology, and then we need light to support the biology. A far different way, an easier way, would be to modify humans. So we live with on that road without any of those How would we do that? We could probably get back for a tuna and we would be building a tail for the planet in something different. Okay. Oh my God. How would you modify it? You must do that. Well, what a great answer. Okay, so I like the idea of modifying the things too. Okay. How about the other one? Is that hard? No, no, no. We're talking about it. How about the other one? Okay. So Did everybody try one? How were they? Lines alright? How would you like a human to be able to live on Mars? Yeah. Well, we're looking at the DNA. And the DNA is like a ladder. It's in your, multi it's in your blood cells. It's in every cell in your blood cells. And it is the program for making human beings in blood cells. So we've gone through a few stages with genetics. But the first stage was that we modified a living creature to make it chemical that we wanted. And, and back in 1985, we modified a fungus to make human insulin. So before then we got insulin from a cow or a pig or a dog. So that was the first stage in 1985. Wow. The second stage was that we grew an organ on a laboratory bench. And then we transplanted it into a dog. And then we did this for a bunch of school kids. Um, we gave a child to a bunch of school kids. No. We did this for a bunch of school kids who were suffering from spinal bifida, which is a condition of their spine where the bone doesn't grow up. Are you guys living challenge? But also, no. you end up with very Just neurological defects. In their case, the neurological Do what? Where are you from? So they got their own cells, and they Sorry? got this for them in 1999, and planted them, they grew them in the body bench, and planted them in the teeth, and then you go in. Where's sorry, where was home? Saying that it worked perfectly, and now the technique is Roseville. Oh no, you did tell me that Roseville. The third stage is that we modify the DNA inside an organ. 
And then you did that in December, um, you know, in November 2021. Wow. So there was a there was a person with type one diabetes where he doesn't make enough insulin, and we modified their DNA so now their pancreas did make insulin. So they know how to cure diabetes through modifying the organ. We've started. That's amazing. We've done it for one person. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And in the next stage is the do this to all people with type one diabetes. Wow. Yeah. And then we have the next stage is to do this to all of the body organs so that we need for immortality so that um, we as a private audience will uh, live for 500 if you'll be younger and you'll be alive and the food has come online. You live for 500 to 5,000 years with a healthy and purified your body. Whereas me being a bit older, I'm going to go, I'll be fine. So you'll be the first generation to live forever and I'll be in the last generation to die. I'm good. Um, so is this, are we talking about kind of eugenics sort of thing? No. No? No. Uh, and the first stage is that we realise that this meat bag that evolution gave us sucks. In the eye, the blood vessels are in front of it and not behind it. Now, the knee joint is like two street bowls on top of each other, sliding around, and they're really bad. We're going to die. So we completely modify ourselves into something different. And so Freeman Dyson in the book, um, The Third Universe, says that the proper state for human beings is a cloud of iron vapor, the diameter of a planet floating through space weighing 50 kilograms. And you still have sex for that world. And that was it, your main sexual organs were gone. So along that pathway, modifying us, we are living on Mars, we do use the modifying Mars to suit the meat bag that you currently have. Okay, you now we're going to think of the last one. That's amazing. Here yeah. you go. Come on, look at the pile of it. I can't do it as well as I can. Did, did I mishear you, Carl? Did you say you're the last generation oh. that will die? Yes and no. Go on. No, no, I mean, it, it, I mean, so many people are working on the problem or the so-called problem of ageing. But do you, you think we're going to make a breakthrough like that in our lifetime? Uh, in their lifetime. In their lifetime. In your lifetime. You hear that? You're never going to die. Well, 500 to 5,000 years, but not with a 5,000 year old body, but a healthy 80 to 25 year old body. You see, death is a new invention. How great would that be? Death only got invented when we... How do you do the little one? Ah, it's not hard. I'm going to try doing two as well. Yeah. I'm not worried, but here we go. When we switch over to single cell creatures to multiple Pass some over, man, because I can't do it. Program cell death, yes, the body. And that happened about a couple of years ago. How do you make all the shapes? How, How do we make all the shapes? Well, like the it's ah, a sculptural a process. So each of the little lines and each of the little triangles you see in the design is built individually in three dimensions and then assembled so that you create one very large lolly which is then extruded into rods. And we are now in the very last stages, cutting it up into small sweets. What I would call a lolly, which seems to drive people from other countries crazy. Yeah. Ben wants to know what's the universe made of, and name all the molecules and atoms in it. Uh, the universe is made of um, about five percent atoms and about 25% dark matter, and we're very confident that dark matter is this, but we don't know what it is, and then about 70% dark energy, and we're very confident that dark energy is this, but we don't know what it is. But we will find out. And name all of the molecules, there's not enough seconds in the universe to name all the molecules. Up quarks, down quarks, and electrons. Yes. So the basic particles at the moment, we think are quarks, electrons. Well, we could be wrong. It's too small to be sure. Yeah, hello. Sure. Yeah. Um, uh, how do we do that? Yeah, so you look at the camera, I'll turn it in. Thank you for, thank, thank you for listening to the podcast. And I'll, I'll have you do a free question and answer session with your school over the internet, uh, over the, uh, on the this afternoon, go to my webpage, drcarl.com, and then you scroll down, it tells you how to organise the free one. If you've got any problems, just bring me to the University of Sydney. That's it, I think. A couple of little bits to go. Well done. It's done great, guys. They are quite good.
Dr. Carl's first ever lolly, the lime. We'll give him a little bag to take away with him. I'm going to have to give him some parking money too, because it's insane. Uh, I'll turn that back. Uh, thank you. Now, Dr. Oh, Carl, people, I, I think people are really, you know, if they get as much out of you as I do, uh, how can they find you? Firstly, you have a podcast, yes. Science with Dr. Carl. Yeah, go to drcarl.com. That's all a podcast. Plus, all the stories I've ever written are there. And what you can do is cut and paste them and hand them over to the homework. Just give us like a little bit. There you go. And also, got study, study different. Uh, if you're checking this podcast, if anyone in the world, if you want to know science questions or some submitted questions, the other one, and I've heard him say it a couple of times, if you would like Dr. Carl to do a question and answer with your class or with your school, once again, go to drcarl.com. Yep. drcarl.com. We'd love to help you out. He loves sharing science. And as you can probably tell from what he said with us today, he knows what he's talking about. Thank you for your time. Stay kind and incredible. Look after yourself and the people around you. Wine lollies. We're going to give him a bag. Thanks, Connor, wherever you are. Thanks, Hi, buddy. Thank you, Thank you. Thanks, Bob. Uh, we'll see you next time on TikTok or some other platform. And Dr. Carl's everywhere. Just check him out. Search Dr. Carl. Look down everywhere. Thanks for your time, Dr. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Bye.